What's up guys and welcome to the Golf Dynasty. If you watched the initial review that I did of the Garmin Arc 10, you already have a good idea of how I feel about this incredibly inexpensive and easy to use launch monitor. The review was short and just about my general impressions of the device, so I didn't go in much detail on how accurate it was because I was saving that for a real test like the one I have lined up for you in this video. If you are new to golf simulators or haven't heard much about the Garmin Arc 10, I encourage you to go watch that video first. For everyone else, this video will be strictly about how the Garmin R10, a $600 unit, competes with the About Golf Simulator kit that is $60,000. That's right, 100 times the cost of the Garmin R10. Unlike the Garmin, which is a low cost, personal product, the About Golf Simulators are designed for commercial and professional use and have been around for much longer, which is why I decided to use this as a control in the test. For the test, I will be using three different clubs to get a better picture of the full range of garments capability, which will be a Titleist AP3 9-iron, a tailor-made milk grind sand wedge, and a Titleist AP3 5-iron in that order. During the test, I had the Garmin set up on my phone, so you could see the results of both simulators in real time. Now, as a quick disclaimer, I have been playing golf for only two seasons, so in no shape or form am I a pro, nor is this video about how to play better golf, but if you would like to comment below on how short my swing is or how inconsistent my shots are, feel free to do so. With that out of the way, I hope you stick around to the end because you may be surprised at the results of the second and third clubs in this test. From now on, you are watching the actual footage of the test with no voiceover so you can see the results for yourself. If you would rather just know what my final impressions are, go ahead and skip to the end.
That was it for the test. I'll let you watch the results for yourself without getting too much of my opinion on it. So you can form your own conclusions. So what did I personally get out of the results? Well, to me, it looks like the Garmin's accuracy is a mixed bag. The results are great for the 9 iron, but for the sand wedge and the 5 iron, the results were quite scattered. My guess is that the Garmin just doesn't have nearly as much to go off of considering how low cost the unit is, so it makes heavy use of estimating to come up with results which is much more suited to the 100 to 150 yard range while the shorter and longer distances tend to suffer. Despite all that, I am still blown away by how much bang for your buck you can get out of this device. Also, before I hang my hat on these results, I must say that testing simulators is extremely difficult considering all the factors that go into each one of them, so I would not be surprised if things like the use of RCT balls and some extra ball flight distance would significantly improve the results of the Garmin. Thanks for watching and being a supporter of the channel. If you like this content, it would really mean a lot if you would hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I have tons more videos like this to make and your support means the world to me. But before you go, I hope you check out this video next.